Welcome back to BT Vancouver. It is 7.26 on this Friday morning. Joining us now is Mike Apple, News 1130's business editor. And Mike, a grim picture for the month of April. The jobs data this morning, Mary, and good morning, by the way, um, in from Stats Canada was pretty much as bad as we had expected. Actually, maybe not as bad as expected, if you can believe that, because the talk was that the unemployment rate would spike to north of 15% and 4 million jobs lost in the tally. It came in at 2 million lost jobs and a 13% unemployment rate. But Stats Canada did a really deep dive here. The report was much more expansive than a typical month because they want to know, you know, more of a structural breakdown on the economy with the pandemic. And, you know, you factor in that a million Canadians lost work in March. So you add that to the April tally. So that's 3 million. Another million plus gave up looking for work just because there are no job opportunities. So that puts it north of 4 million. So there we're getting a little bit closer to the 6.7 million people who have either applied for uh, EI or that uh, emergency wage benefit out of Ottawa. So, you know, it's, it's just historically bad. We've never seen a collapse in the labor market this quickly based on any metric, even dating back to the depression era where it took months for the unemployment rate to skyrocket as much as it had in a monthly basis. And, and yet and all, you know, it's, it's interesting, Mary, uh, in the U.S. they lost 20 million jobs last month and an unemployment rate at 14.7%. I just looked at the markets. The Dow's up 300 points and the TSX up over 100 because it's not the here and now, it's, it's, the, it's the back end. How quickly do things recuperate when things reopen? That is still the unknown, but uh, that's why we're seeing the disconnect again between the markets and the underlying economic statistics. And some of those people that have lost jobs are Uber drivers. We just got mm -hmm. Uber here in Vancouver and then the pandemic hit. The company lost $2.6 billion in the latest quarter. And they're saying that things are going to improve because their most recent uh, statistics indicate there are more people taking ride hailing uh, using the ride hailing apps and Uber Eats, food delivery. This has been a pandemic, you know, a boom market for the most part, right? Whether it's them or, or uh, uh, DoorDash or Skip the Dishes or what have you. So Uber's up right now as well. And you know, they, these are interesting precursors and, and, and forward guidance from these companies. Another one this morning, I wanna get to it. Shanghai Disneyland is opening on Monday. They're going at a third capacity, third of the typical capacity, sold out in three minutes and sold out for the entire week within an hour's time. Wow. So people are, you know, trying, they want to go out and that, you know, the Asian economies are reopening faster than ours or sooner, certainly. Can that be used as the precursor for Disney World, for example, in Florida or Disneyland in California? It's all about crowd control, you know, so again, there are these green shoots, if you want to call them, or, or, or light at the end of the tunnel analysis. So maybe we'll leave you with that this morning, a little bit of uh, optimism On this going Friday. into the weekend. Okay, thank you so much, Mike. Have a great weekend. Uh, 729 on Breakfast Television. We're going to take a break. We'll have more news ahead. Stay with us.